Hi, I'm Anthony Achivati. I teach at Columbia University in the Graduate School of Architecture, Planning and Preservation. Welcome to my exhibition, The River Ganga, uh, India's Iconic Water Machine. This is an exhibition that looks at a decade's worth of work of mapping the Ganga by foot and by boat. It was begun at a time before uh, Google Earth was really launched where you had apps to be able to know you where you were located. So it was a body of work that I had to do literally going out into the field and walking the land, mapping it, photographing it, developing new uh, techniques of mapping and instruments of mapping this area to visualize the incredible dynamism that exists here, not just in terms of population density, agricultural production, but also the dynamism of the, the monsoons itself. I'm Ravina Agarwal, I'm the director of the Columbia Global Center in Mumbai. Uh, we are very proud to host this exhibition by Anthony Achavedi. This exhibition is actually part of a long-term engagement that the center has with the issue of water access and management, especially with the issue of groundwater. Uh, the work that I've uh, been doing on the Ganga, what really drew me there was uh, the fact that I could find very little information, contemporary information about the Ganga other than that densely populated, uh, agriculturally productive, uh, monsoonal as a landscape, yet uh, there was very little uh, visualization of this landscape. And so I wrote a Fulbright proposal in 2004, just before Google Earth was launched, to say that as, a, as an architect, as a scholar, I would be fascinated to not only map what this area looks like because of the level of population density and agricultural production, but also to develop a new way of visualizing this landscape in terms of its dynamism because of the monsoons. It undergoes incredible cyclical changes every year. And that for me as a, as a designer, it would be fascinating to understand uh, the choreography of people, water, uh, soils within this landscape, and to then perhaps develop uh, new ways of uh, not only visualizing, but also a set of documents to then imagine alternative futures for this area going forward. I found this observation very interesting and very relevant today because I think it combines, I mean it's not only looking at the river but it tries to combine science, society, religion plus tradition at the same time and it tries to give a very strong message about how the river needs to be looked at and what needs to be done with it in the future. What I was looking at from the point of view of students is a bandwidth or a detailed uh, body of research that we could uh, work on for design interpretation. And all these are problem solving designs for my students and that's what I'm actually looking for. It's almost like fertile line for my students and probably designers all over the world to work on.